The beauty of Indonesian archipelago is illustrated by the poets like a string of assorted glowing gems. It's so full of charm. Bequeathing such as beautiful and prosperous mother nature, Indonesia become the country that known as number one Arabica and Robusta coffee manufacturer. In Toraja, the scent of the coffee and meat has loped the name of the plateau in South Sulawesi worldwide. Some people call Toraja as place of all the ancestors from heaven. This area, which is located 300 kilometers from the city of Makassar, has a fascinating panorama and serves many exotic adventures for the travelers. Toraja is also culturally rich land, which has traditional house named Tongkonan and the ancient funeral tradition. With its lowest topography circa 1,400 meters above sea level, district of Toraja is the best Arabica coffee manufacturer in the world. Beragam jenis kopi yang berkualitas ada di Indonesia. Salah satunya adalah kopi Toraja. Sudah saatnya Indonesia menjadi sorganya kopi. Oh Siti ke kunikahan korum tano wehkin walimu kuyukin saksimu Matalukin kalamu In Western Indonesia, the aromatic of coffee flow like it's trying to battle with the tradition of Gayo as a center of attraction from its land. Most inhabitants of Gayo tribe work as the coffee farmers and they are very religious. Saya kenal tanah Gayo Sejak 1974, sejak saat itu saya menyintai kopi gayu. Saya bertekad mutiara hitam dari gayu terkenal di dalam negeri dan luar negeri. Gayo coffee is planted organically without any chemicals, so that the coffee is also well known as green coffee or environment friendly coffee. Gayo coffee has received international certification as the best organic coffee in the world. To producing the best quality coffee, it needs long and accurate process. Basically, there are two ways to process coffee plant into coffee beans, namely wet and dry process. First step in the wet coffee process is sorting coffee plant. Soak the fresh harvested coffee plant in the water. The sinking coffee plant in the water will be categorized as the best communities. Further process, peel off the coffee plant skin using peeler machine. The next step, dry the coffee beans. Avoid from direct sunlight because it makes the coffee beans won't reach the ideal water level. 12%. After that, peel off the coffee husk. The result from that process is called green coffee bean. The last process is selecting the number one quality coffee beans from the dirt seeds or the damaged one. Those selected coffee beans will be packed and ready to be delivered worldwide. At Toga Cafe, Pulau Kebang, East Jakarta, the traditionally produced coffee beans are served with high taste in a cup of coffee. Toga Cafe represents the modern way of drinking coffee without eliminating the typical aromatic of world-class coffee. Kopi hadir dengan konsep yang modern dan menyajikan kopi kelas dunia. Kami menggunakan peralatan-peralatan yang modern untuk menjaga kualitas dan cita rasa kopi.
using modern tools, the tasteful coffee beans will be roasted at first to transform the physical and chemical property of the coffee. Then, the roasted coffee will go through the grinding process to make it easy to brew. The result of grinding process will affect to the bitter taste of coffee when it's brewed. Commonly, there are four main formulas used in coffee brewing process. Boiling, steeping, filtration method, and presser. With these modern tools, the taste of the traditionally processed coffee is preserved its world-class quality.